Hey, this is Ben from Easy Sports Video, and this is what you do after you record a game with a video camera and your recording has finished processing. The first thing you want to do is come to your highlights menu. You'll see a list of all the highlights that video has detected in the game. There are many of them. You have the opportunity to review it if you'd like, and then either save it or delete it. But because there are so many of them, what I typically do is I come to this menu and I select Save All Highlights. Now what happened is VO identified those, but they hadn't rendered them. So now there's gonna be a period of time where you can't download them because you can see it says we're rendering your highlight. Now what you can do is you can edit your highlights. So let's say that there, were, there was a highlight that was incorrect. So let's jump down to one of these. And let's say that this shot on goal that it tagged actually was a goal. In this case, it wasn't. But there are times when it incorrectly will say a goal is a goal which didn't actually go in, or in some cases, it will miss a goal. So here you can see the goalie saves it. So what you can do in this case is you can click Edit. And we have a lot of tags. You won't have this many. But if this was a goal, you could come down to Goal and select Goal. And then if you wanted to tag a player, you could do that. And then you would click Save. And that would update it to be a goal. Or if it wasn't a goal, you could come in and you could take away the goal tag and add the appropriate tag. The next thing that you do is you can edit the name of the game. So in this case, you come in and this was something that you might have typed at the, at the field, but you may want to type something more descriptive. So you may want to say, my team versus their team, something more appropriate. And you can also set the match type. Um, if you have view analytics, view analytics will be classifying things by the kind of game that you are playing. So um, in this case, it was a friendly, but it might be good for you to set the league or what kind of game it was, because when you go back and look at your stats over time, it, it is nice to know how those um, stack up based on what kind of game it was. So I'm going to say friendly. If you wanted to make it public, you could. By default, ours are private, and then click Save. The next thing you want to do is come to the Analytics tab. And VO has identified which half your team is on. This gives you the ability to change it. So in this case, it's showing that our, our team was on this side of the field for the first half. And this is actually opposite, so you can click Switch. And then you can, that's for the first half. And you can come down here, and you can and you can switch it there as well. Now, if there's overtime, there will be a third period, and then you can you can also add periods if it wasn't a third an overtime that was recognized. Click confirm. Now, the reason that you want to do that is because when VO creates their statistics, they do it based on which side of the field your team is on. So when it creates the scoreboard and all the statistics in terms of game events it does it based on those sides that's why you want to update the side that your team is on the next thing to do is to watch our vo camera kickoff guide an easy way to find it is to come over here to google search vo camera kickoff and the video will show up here there's actually some key moments that are listed that you can toggle to what this does is it's going to walk you through all the things that you need to know about watching the game and it shows you can see here these these are some of the things that it talks about creating highlights creating clips interactive highlights editing sharing analytics so the video camera kickoff will help you learn how to watch the game and create the clips i'm going to show you how to request your highlight video so from this screen you're going to enter the address of your vo team your email address, and any notes that you want to make about the video, and you'll click Request Highlight Video. That's a summary of what you should do after your game is uploaded and ready to go with the video camera. If you have more questions about your soccer recording needs, check us out at easysportsvideo.com. Thanks.